natural, you know. If I, when I chant Hare Krishna, I feel extrovert. I feel I feel in harmony, my, my myself and my body and my activity. It's all one. I feel you know, there's no difference. I don't care what I don't care what people think. Actually, uh, I don't care what people think anymore. So I'm not self conscious. <laughs> said that if you don't we don't use our tongues for the names of God we're just the same as frogs and you know what will happen when a frog is croaking a big snake will come <laughs> the best thing is to chant the holy name Jimmy Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> this has a pickup also. Did you make it yourself? Well, it was it was a you know a pumpkin, and it broke, so we put on this. Oh, a tin. My friend put on something more durable. This is called Ektar, from India. Mm. It needs to be plugged into a sound system. To amplify it. Yeah. So some people are attracted, oh, yeah, I like your shoes, man. You know, the, it does attract a certain kind of people, and so it's a, it's a, like a whole image. It's just like I'm trying to use this for Krishna. Some non, I'm trying to use non-conformism in the service of Krishna. So I started to, to use my artists to show reincarnation, how the, the soul is changing bodies, lifetime after lifetime. And we're changing to different bodies, and the uh, time of death we switch to another body. But this is like a little mini exhibition. <laughs> it uses physical things as a way to reach out to people in a different way. <laughs> Purifying. Purifying. Purifies the body and it marks the body as a temple of Vishnu. It's like protection also from evil spirits. Evil spirits. Yeah, well, you know, I don't believe in evil spirits, but everyone gets what they deserve. True. Whether it's a spirit of getting run over by a bus, or they get stomachache. Yeah. It's, yes. it's called the law of karma. Yes, because the comes around. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. After after our college, I was like a, you could say, a freelance artist, come hippie, you know, search after the truth. My wife, girlfriend, if you like, she wasn't really into self-realization. She was more like going to the pub, you know, having a good time like that. I was looking for some answers, I couldn't find anywhere else. Freedom Pass! This is me. What does it mean? I get free rides on the, on the public transport. I'm 69, 70. I'm an old geezer. my ups and downs <laughs> on a particular down <laughs> I met this book 
and, I'm, and I met some people who had been to the temple here in London, and uh, so I was impressed. I thought, well, you know, this is something worth thinking about. What am I? I'm not this body, then who am I? So uh, then he, he said, we'll chant Hare Krishna. So I started to chant, and then things become more clear. inspiration more or less my real spiritual progress started so so I'm eternally indebted to him so Marge came over and he sat right next to me and as soon as he sat down I was like oh my god I could just feel this energy and I was thinking he's not just a normal guy you know <laughs> there's something very special about his energy it seemed like almost like 35 or 40 minutes passed and we were just talking and talking and talking and he was so down to earth and he was so real and so approachable and so friendly and so kind-hearted and so loving and I was just thinking you know what an amazing person and Marge stood up and he started singing and dancing in the front room of this house and all 12 or 15 of us got up and we were all dancing for like, you know, 25, 30, 40 minutes, just running around the front room singing and dancing. And it just clicked. At one point I was like, you know, this is what I want to be doing when I'm 50 some years old. I was so inspired. And then the next morning I woke up and I said to my friend, I want to go to the temple, I want to get some beads, and I want to start chanting. By chanting, we get free from all these compulsive activities like illicit sex, gambling, intoxication, meat eating. We get free from that because we, we found some higher pleasure. Krishna, he has different uh, uniforms, so to speak. Just like David Cameron, he has his prime minister uniform. But maybe if he's going to, you know, going to, I don't know whether he does this, but if he's going to like combine cadet force at, at Harrow School, he may wear, wear a soldier's uniform. So when Krishna wants to relate with different people in different ways, he can, he, he can have different forms, but it's the same person. So the characteristic of the soul is to serve. Now, that service in this material world is temporary. I serve my country, my wife, my family, and so on. But that service ends at the time of death. So a permanent service is a service to God. So this is it's irrelevant what, what faith you call it, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. That Dharma is there within the heart to to serve God. So we 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 feel we're non-sectarian. We have to use our intelligence. How to to spread this Hare Krishna to the benefit of the people of the world. If we follow Prabhupada's example, then we will, we will be very successful. If we get bogged down into institutionalized religion, then we could uh, 
We may have to wait for another bell button. Yeah, and it's not me. <laughs> My message for the world. Please try chanting Hare Krishna and experiment with it and see what happens. And uh, I guarantee you'll find something worth experiencing if you try chanting Hare Krishna. Please try it. I'm gonna take some, my love.